Welcome back to the charismatic voice. I have been waiting for the right time to feature Black Briar on the channel. And now that it's October, I feel that the moment has arrived to soak in and appreciate their song, The Seance. I have heard Black Briar once before, thanks to our wonderful patrons, and I liked what I heard. So now it is time for a deep dive analysis of their music. Let's get to it. Whoa. Well, I'm really excited about all of this right now. I'm excited where it's going as well. But we're going to go back to the beginning and talk about some of the really awesome things. Wow. Okay, so right from the beginning. Oh, well, that's a creepy look over the chair. Very nice. I love this vocal that's mixed in on the left side and then it pans across. It feels like a ghost whooshing by. Wonderful. Uh, I believe this was produced by Eust van der Broek. I've been seeing his name pop up everywhere with a lot of uh, similar, similar um, types of bands as well. Uh, just shout out to him. Really awesome production. I like that song. And then immediately her voice, there's a lightness to it while also having um, some great ping in the sound, um, some focus on it. So it's, uh, it's got a, a really nice quality. I had read that she was compared to Amy Lee and I instantly hear that as well. Um, absolutely. Um, because there's a fluffy that's in there, but then there's a ping at the same time. And Amy Lee has a similar kind of characteristic in her voice, though Zora's voice sits a little bit higher, I think. I love, I love that orchestra background. It almost sounds like there's a theremin mixed in. Or it might be a voice in there. <laughs> Maybe it's a theremin. I love the way she bounces on a whisper there. I've heard, um, uh, but shout out to Ruben, by the way, for help with um, some background information on the band. Again, we have awesome patrons. Um, that apparently Zora often comes up with the melody, and then Renee, their drummer, will fill in some things underneath. And I love that process because it allows her to be really explorative with the melody and have some fun with it. And this vague whisper, it has that lightness and playfulness to it. And this is exciting to think, oh, maybe she, you know, was just following the lyrics like one should and creating melodies that arose from that inspiration. So she actually has that ping I was talking about before. It's like, it's also um, very akin to twang. So she's got that forward focus in her sound. And the way she sings through the in of wonder really highlights how well she's focused that sound in the front mask of her face. Sometimes we'll talk about the mask in this 
um, like basically from here forward in the face. And singers will talk about singing into the mask to maximize resonance and focus on their sound. And she's doing a great job of singing into that while still maintaining that lightness in her voice. Oh, it's a beautiful combo. See that in one minute. <laughs> oh my gosh, that half step shift at the end of that was really cool. <laughs> that is such fun musical exploration. Very unexpected and half steps have a lot of tension between them. Uh, that really works with this ghost idea trying to get noticed. Oh my goodness, okay. That's cool. Wait, no, go back further. It's interesting as she goes up to the top of that, she almost um, lets some laryngeal bobbing into it, so it's like, uh, it becomes like a almost a meter, Middle Eastern way of ornamenting that top note, um, which can also just feel like a wide vibrato for a little bit that goes duh, and it makes a really cool affectation on that high note. I am a right, it almost sounds a little spooky, woo woo, at that moment. I really am loving the clarity of her voice. I'm getting all of the words, great enunciation. She's got a great ability to sing through those nasal consonants, those ends very well in particular, but she just has that beautiful uh, focus with her resonance as well that makes it clear the whole time. It doesn't ever pop out of the pocket. Uh, really, really good tracking. counter melody in the orchestra there. I love it. This is cool. like a little bit of Wuthering Heights from Kate Bush right there. I think it's really important to recognize in her voice that she has a light overall sound. It has more of that ethereal kind of feeling. Uh, you know, there's like a little bit of Sharon and Adele in that lightness in her voice. Um, oh, I also, I have a little bit of Simona as well in, in that lightness. So she fits within this uh, idea of 
symphonic metal or metal that has maybe some more symphonic elements to it as well. I think they do some gothic metal as well. But then there's something particular that really works within the thicker instrumental texture. And that is that ping, that uh, resonance where she's keeping it right there the whole time. If she doesn't have those, um, that focus and the overtones that it creates, then her voice would get totally lost within all of these instruments. And instead, it is similar to Amy Lee's in the way it's able to continually peek through. It's not piercing, because to me it doesn't have that edge of piercing, but it almost, the idea of being able to pierce and like make a little hole for her voice to go through, that is occurring. And that's because of the focus and the resonance and the overtones that are being created because she has that lined up within the mask the whole time. Oh, side note on that. A lot of singers make the mistake of thinking they need to sing louder in order to be heard over tons of instruments. And that leads to lots of vocal problems. Um, singers can blast out their voices very easily because they feel like they need to sing louder. What a singer should do is learn how to sing smarter, learn how to sing more efficiently. And when you're able to get that in the mask and get that resonance, that buzz going, that is smarter singing. That means you'll have a longer career. You'll be able to tour without blowing your voice out uh, a few shows in. It's just a very, very important thing to do. So singers, listen to what she's doing and learn how to get that focus in your voice rather than trying to sing louder. Smarter, not louder. Oh, this is like a Ouija board moment. My goodness. Actually is echoing exactly what I talked about earlier, where there's essentially a quick, um, it sounds like she's allowing a quick bob, like a quick vibrato to enter and create this ornamentation that's very similar in Middle Eastern ornamentations, but she's picking out different notes, which are really fun, really fun and have a lot of color. They're unexpected. They've got some more dissonance in them. And it does actually sound more like a voice that's haunting somebody. I love the whisper there too. Oh, there's another cool part in there where she did a slide as well to add some more dissonance. On me, she does a little slide up and down. expecting that boo. <laughs> oh, that was clever. go back one more time because I really like these 
ornaments that she's doing. I think it's such a cool um, blending of different scales in the pitch choices. And she's got really good control over that quick flip uh, with adding a little more relaxation so the vibrato can come in. Go. She's got a really good control over that. And I, I think it's just fascinating and unique and fun to hear. So I want to hear it again. There too, it's so good in that. that half step shift up. <laughs> Suspense. <laughs> I just feel so tickled still by the way she did that ornament and the way it sounded so ghostly as well. She obviously is having tons of fun exploring her voice and I like this thick sound behind her as well and the way her voice can sit in there and still be heard. Lots of really, really cool things happening. I have to give a huge shout out though to our patron community and thank them because they really helped put Blackbriar on the map for me, especially Miles, thank you very much, and also Ruben. You guys have been a huge help and I'm really, really glad that I got to hear seance today. It's so cool and so perfect for October. If you would like to see some more songs that our patrons have suggested be analyzed, check out this playlist over here. And I hope that you fall more in love with music every day.